Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be looking at a worksheet that asks us to compare numbers. Before we get started, let's remind ourselves of some really important things to know in place value. First, which base 10 block do you see? This is a cube. Do you know the value of the cube? Cube is worth just one. How about a long? Do you know how much the long is worth? Well, the long is made up of 10 individual cubes. So therefore, the long is worth 10. Let's use this information to help us to compare numbers with base 10 blocks. Let's say, for example, we had a number with two longs and two cubes. We wanted to compare this to a number with one long and three cubes. Well, what do these blocks really represent? One way we can see what this number is quickly is by simply counting the base 10 blocks starting with the longs. So let's give it a shot. In this number, we have one long and that's representing 10, and another long and that represents 10. So we can count by 10 two times. Let's give it a shot. 10, 20. Now we know we have 20, and we can just count on with our other two cubes, which represent ones, 20, 21, 22. So I know that these base 10 blocks represent the number 22. Well, how about the number on the right side? This side, I see 110. Already I'm starting to think, hmm, if there's only 110 in this number, it's probably smaller or less than 22. But let's count all the base 10 blocks just to be sure. After 10, we can just count on with our three cubes, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we know that 22 is greater than 13. So we'll draw the comparison symbol with the mouth open towards the bigger number because you will always eat the bigger number. Let's get started with our worksheet. Let's read the directions and start with the first problem. Comparing numbers, base 10 blocks. Count tens and ones in each pair and compare the numbers. Check the pairs where the signs of comparison are correct. Okay, we have a nice little reminder up top reminding us about the longs are worth 10 and the cubes are worth one. So let's get started by counting the base 10 blocks. Remember, we can count by tens if we see a long. So let's look at our first picture. How many longs are there? Well, I see one, two, three, four longs. I know that's worth 40. Now let's see how many cubes we have. There's one, two, three, four, five cubes. So let's count on from 40, five more. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Our first number has 45. Let's compare it to the number on the right. We can first start by counting how many longs there are. Well, in this number, we can see that there's one, two, three, four, five longs. Hmm. Do you think this number with five longs or five tens is going to be greater or less than 45? How much is five tens really worth? Let's just count the tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So already that's greater than 45. Let's count the cubes just so we can get a final count. 51, 52, 53, 54. So 54 is greater than 45. Let's see if the comparison symbol is facing the right way. It is. The symbol is eating the 54, so we know that this is correct. We can go ahead and check the box. Let's take a look at our next example. In this problem, on the number on the left, we have two tens. We know that equals 20. Let's see how many ones we have. And let's count from 20. We have 21, 22, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. There are 28 base 10 blocks in the number on the left. Let's compare that to number on the right. The number on the right has one, two, three, 
four longs. I'm already starting to think the number on the right is going to be bigger because it has more longs. Remember, the longs are worth 10 each, and this one has four tens. That's 10, 20, 30, 40. So already this has 40 cubes. We, didn't have any, we haven't even counted on the two cubes yet, which gives us 41 and 42. So this number is definitely greater than 28. Now, let's check which way the comparison symbol is facing. In this example, the comparison symbol shows that the 28 is greater. So this is not true. We cannot check this is correct. Let's take a look at our next example. Wow, there's a lot of longs in this one. Let's see if we can figure out which number is larger by just counting the longs. So let's count the longs of the first number. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now let's count the longs in the other number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So they both have 8 tens, which means they're both equal to 80. But the number on the left also has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cubes, making it 85, 81, 82, 83, 84, and 85. So the number on the left, 85, is larger. But the comparison symbol shows that 80 is larger, and that's not correct. So we can't check this one as correct either. Now let's look at the last problem. Again, let's count the base 10 blocks and see how many there are in each problem. Let's start with the longs on the left. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, which means there's 40. Let's count the longs on the right. There's 10, 20, 30, and 40. Also four longs. Hmm. So if they both have four longs, let's count the cubes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have 40 plus seven, 41, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 47 on the left. Now let's count the cubes on the right. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and 47. There are also 47 cubes on the right. These numbers are equal to each other. And we can see from the comparison symbol, it's got it correct. These numbers are equal. So we can go ahead and check that as correct. Remember, boys and girls, the longs are worth 10. So you can count by tens to help you compare numbers easier. Then look and see if the other number has a greater or less than number of tens. If they're the same, go ahead and count the ones or the cubes to see which number is greater in the end. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. See you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.